Hello, hello, hello. Um, I have some um, challenges uh, this week with the questions that have been sent through, and they'll become obvious as I go through them. But uh, the first question is from Jane, and uh, her question is, what sort of music do you like? Well, to be honest, I like everything. I um, played the clarinet when I was a kid, played in the borough orchestra, and I really would say that I'm more classically tuned. Uh, but I enjoy everything else. I enjoy everything from Beethoven to B.B. King. Uh, I also enjoy discovering new things, and that's why I watch to and listen um, to programs uh, like Jules Holland, who introduce us to all sorts of new things, and that's how I discovered Paloma Faith and Pokey Lafarge, for example. <laughs> uh, question two from Sally. Um, why are you so fat? Have you thought of going on a diet? Well, it's nothing like being direct, is there, Sally? <laughs> and uh, looking at your profile, I can see that you're very skinny. And I've noticed um, skinny people, thin people, are very interested in large people, shall we say, in uh, politely. Uh, I don't know why it is. There's a sort of fascination. I've also found that uh, skinny people... Uh, uh, have a fascination about food. They're always talking about it. Whereas I very rarely even think about food. I suddenly become where I haven't eaten something and then I'll probably become hungry. Now, for those friends of mine out there who know when I go to dinner, um, I intend to be eating salady stuff and lots of vegetables. So I do object to those who think I sit and chain eat Mars bars all day long. <laughs> Oh dear, but the main reason I'm large, I think, is because of all the bullshit I'm fed. And bullshit is high in calories. And over the last 40 or 50 years, I've had a lot of bullshit. I've been to dietitians, uh, and they all talk a load of twaddle half the time, because they don't agree with each other. Um, uh, my first dietitian I went to provided me with a plate that had pictures of food on it as if I didn't know what a carrot or a pea or a runner bean looked like. Um, uh, another, poli uh, another politician, another dietitian um, was going on about five a day, five a day, um, uh, regarding fruit. But then the next dietitian said, no, 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 ignore the five a day. You can have as much fruit and veg as you like. It's the actual size of the portions of the meat that you need to look at, which I'll go along with. Eh? I'll, fair enough. Um, and then the last dietitian I went to uh, banged on about the fact that I was eating a lot of bananas. Uh, and in that week I had four. And I said, well, it's only four. And she said, yes, far too many, far too many. So out of sheer cussedness, I said, well, where do I get my potassium from them? And her answer was chocolate. So from that point, I thought she wasn't taking me seriously. And talking of seriousness as well, it's this sort of question uh, that can get fat people into all sorts of bother uh, where it's not their own fault. Uh, many years ago, uh, and even now, there are cries that fat people are going to bankrupt the NHS, which of course is nonsense, uh, but it doesn't stop the hard of thinking uh, going around attacking fat people. And as some of you know, some years ago, I was attacked. As a result, I have a damaged knee and I got permanent damage to the top of my spine. That is why I walk with a stick. And that was a direct response to these children, shall we say, um, listening to the nonsense that fat people are going to bankrupt the NHS. They just came over and attacked me. And the irony was I had 60 quid on me and they weren't interested in it at all. So all I can say on behalf of every large person is, to you skinny people, just respect us exactly the same way as you skinny people would like to be respected. Right, question three. James. Some people say you are political. Do you agree and would you say you're left or right wing? Well... I've never really thought of myself as a politician. Um, I, I tend to open my mouth and let whatever's going around in my head spill out, so I will agree to that. So some people would say I'm not a diplomat either. But um, 
Uh, no, no, no. I wouldn't say I'm political. I'm a, an ordinary citizen who has a viewpoint, um, and I give it when asked. I very rarely volunteer and think, am I left ring or white ring? I don't think so. I don't think I'm either, really. Uh, I'm not allowed in the House of Lords, but if I were, I would sit on the cross benches because at least then I can be independent and take issue, each issue separately and have a think about it, go away and discuss it with other people perhaps, and then come back and vote according to my independent conclusion. Uh, so there we go. I can't stand partisan politics because it gets in the way. I mean, Party A will not do the right thing if Party B came up with the idea. What sort of nonsense is that? There we go. Right, question four from Eleanor. Why do you video blog? What makes you think others are interested? Well, I'll take that as being a genuine question, although I feel that there's a little dig there, but maybe I'm just being a bit sensitive. Why do I video blog? The answer is because I was asked. <laughs> um, over, the, uh, over the years, I've been asked to do little little snippets for people's individual Facebook pages or websites or whatever and I just felt rather than doing 20 or 30 I might as well do one big blog uh, and uh, people can add either the whole thing or snippets of it to their own site if they wish there's no demand as to why do I do it it is as I say because I've been asked and are people interested well, I think so. I think in the main they are. I know that when I'm at conventions, um, people come up to me all the time saying, oh, we liked this blog and we liked that message and, and you know, please do more. And for those who are not interested, why are you watching? <laughs> Until next time, bye.